It is the Battle of the Jams. Buckingham Palace has released a video promoting its own strawberry jam. Just days after Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, unveiled the first product that she'll be selling through her American Riviera Orchard brand, which just happened to be strawberry jam. So which one will you be buying, I wonder? Joining me in the studio, Talk TV's Royal Editor, Sarah Houston. So nice to see you. And down the line, we have Royal Commentator, Emily Andrews. I mean, you can't help thinking, Sarah, <laughs> that Buckingham Palace are being just a little mischievous here. Transatlantic jam wars. Yeah. I mean, I love mm. this. As a marketing ploy, it is inspired, yeah. isn't it? Uh, Buckingham Palace shop uh, posted this video last <coughs> night of the strawberry jam that yeah. they sell in their shop for £3.99 a yeah. jar, I think it is, um, with this very slickly edited video of the four different ways you can eat our jam. And as you yeah. say, it just happens to be strawberry jam. Yes. Where have yeah. we been talking about strawberry jam for a while? Normally, you'd get, you know, uh, a few hundred views on this and 20-odd yeah. comments. They had yeah. 600 people instantly <laughs> commenting, <laughs> suggesting that they were throwing shade at Meghan Markle, or it was a subtle trolling by Buckingham Palace of American Riviera Orchard. I mean, it is hilarious. And Emily, you would have thought there would have been these marketing meetings where somebody would have piped up, oh, we better not do the jam. You know, let's do the biscuits. You know, let's do the tea towels. Let's not do jam because it'll look as if we're treading on Meghan's toes. And some other miscreant will have said, no, let's do the jam. Jam is the thing we want to do. The next thing we know, the Duchy of Cornwall will do their jam as well. And there'll be three different royal jams all at once. I mean, what do you make of this? Do you think it is a kind of deliberately, I mean, low-key, humorous way of kind of an irritating the Duchess of Sussex? A little bit of sweet revenge, perhaps, <laughs> Vanessa. Pardon the pun. No, um, look, I just think this is just very funny. And I think someone's just had a bright idea and thought, why don't we just promote our jam? It may be actually because, because we've been talking about Megan's Jam and American Riviera Orchard. Try saying that after you've had a, a glass of wine. <laughs> um, actual sales of the Duchy of Cornwall's strawberry preserve have increased and in some I think in some waitresses even sold out so it did seem that because Megan's jam was getting all this attention there were only 50 jars and they've been obviously given to her handpick friends and fellow influencers so none of us hoi polloi could get our hands on it that people would do the next best thing and going out and buying Dutchy original so probably some bright spark in Buckingham Palace marketing team thought well this is a good idea to sell some more of our jam. I mean, the, the, the idea, though, of the, of the high and mightiest and most privileged people in the land selling us jam is something to digest, isn't it? Because you think, God, how much more money do they need? And why do well, they need to exploit we innocent crumpet and toast eaters by, <laughs> by selling us jam? And also, well, it's not it like there's a lot of international shortage of jam. I mean, you get jam absolutely anyway. You could even make your own jam if you're so inclined. Well, it costs a lot of money to run these palaces, <laughs> uh, Vanessa. And one of the ways in which they prop them up is by selling merchandise. So you can have your tea towels and your mug and your oven gloves and your jam. They sell them at Sandringham, they sell them at Balmoral, they sell them at Highgrove and they sell them at the Buckingham Palace shop. They've been doing it for a long time. But I think, you know, that you can't help but draw the comparisons. We had Nacho Figueras, the polo player, great friend of Harry and Meghan, uh, posting his own video, spreading the jam onto his toast uh, earlier on in the last uh, week or so. And there we have a woman now in the Buckingham Palace video spreading the jam onto toast and crumpets to the strains of Mozart. Absolutely and hilarious. then featuring the royal coat of arms. Of course, Meghan's features her cipher mm -hmm. on her jar of jam and so I think whoever is behind this marketing a bit of mischievous marketing and it's certainly not going to harm sales is no. it? and we know Emily that, that the Buckingham Palace jam is three pounds thirty don't we for three pounds fifty or something per jar we don't know yet though yeah. do we what Megan's limited edition jam will cost I don't think they've listed the price yet have they Emily? No, this is what's so bizarre, actually, and I'm sure Sarah will agree with me. I think if you are launching a hopefully multi-million dollar brand, as Megan is going to do alongside her new cookery show that she's filming at the moment, you would have thought that all the products would be there ready to go. If you sent all these lovely, you know, stylized, I told that she she um, calligraphied, if that's even the word, the, uh, the labels herself. If you're going to send all these um, jars of jam out to your friends and influencers and have all this free advertising, surely you'd have something, everything ready to go on your website and there's nothing. So uh, maybe it's, you know, to create this kind of air of, you know, mystery and fantasy and, and expectation, but it just seems to me all a little bit rushed and ill thought through 
given that we're told she's been working on this for a year. Absolutely. And and we're not supposed to think, are we, that, that, that King Charles and Queen Camilla are personally making <laughs> the jam in the no. Buckingham Palace kitchen? Because I've been to Buckingham Palace, I'm sure you have. I don't see a jam factory there. No. Isn't it just meant to come from the same jam factory as any other but old jam? For example, when you visit the various different estates, like Sandringham, for example, mm. you can buy apple juice that is made from the apples on the Sandringham estate. Yes. And it is made there on the farm. So there are a lot of products that are made from their own homegrown produce. And they do like to, you know, reduce the food miles, particularly mm. around Highgrove and the Sandringham estate, for example. But yes, it is the perfect present for a tourist to take home. You go into the Buckingham Palace shop, uh, you might buy yourself a beef eater key ring and a jar of jam. You might. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a corgi from Balmoral. All of my children have a corgi from Balmoral, what, corgi, so I fell for it corgi, as well. What, a cuddly corgi. Oh, a cuddly <laughs> corgi, for goodness sake. Not a real sake. one. I didn't I mean, steal them. Emily, are we meant to think that because the Duchess of Sussex's jam is limited edition, she personally made it. Oh, well, I'm sure she would love us to think that there she was sending Archie and Lily out to her own organic strawberry patch and was selecting each one personally and even perhaps getting her lovely angelic children to tread the strawberries and crush them with their little <laughs> gorgeous feet. Um, I very much doubt... <laughs> That would happen. Um, <laughs> look, apparently, laws in America say that if you label something as being made somewhere, and it's American Riviera Orchard, and the American Riviera is the nickname for Montecito, which mm. is where uh, Meghan and Harry live because it's so beautiful and the coast and the weather and stuff. It's a takeoff of the French Riviera, the south of France. Then really, it should be made in Montecito. We don't know where this jam has come from. We don't know. I mean, it could be made in, in Central America for all we know. I mean, you would have hope, hoped that it would be very, you know, organic and lovingly made and et cetera. So you'd hope that she did actually make I it I have itself, to but... get myself out of a jam here by stopping you right there. I wish I didn't have to. I would preserve the conversation for as long <laughs> as I could and it would be entirely seedless.